G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a space saving, easy for vines to climb trellis designed for a raised garden bed to grow cucumbers with an asparagus pea succession crop to get over six months of veggie growing overall. <sighs> Plus, I'll give you a few unexpected surprises that I didn't expect. Let's get into it. I set this trellis up at the start of our spring in September last year. And as you can see, six months on, it's still growing strong. The crops have naturally replaced each other and evolved and even though I planned for this to happen, I was still surprised at how well this project worked and it's still going. You can grow cucumbers without a trellis but this takes up more space and it also leaves the fruit open to more pests and diseases like slugs and rot due to the cucumbers touching the ground. Growing them up a trellis is better but most cucumbers are poor climbers and this takes extra time to train the vines up a vertical trellis. So the lean to idea came from wanting to make an easier type of trellis for the cucumbers to meander up with limited fussing about and at the same time have the fruit to fall through the mesh so that it would be easy to harvest also. Well that was the idea. Originally, I was going to make a lean-to trellis that basically started here and leaned over the garden bed. But then I had to think about it and I realised that that would shade out all this bed space here. So then I thought, why not start the trellis here and lean it over the outside of the bed? And that way, I would have all this space here to grow other crops maximize the use of it and they would be growing in full sun and plenty happy and I'd be able to grow more in less space. The materials needed to make this trellis was a piece of galvanized mesh with decent sized holes big enough for cucumbers to grow and hang through, a few garden stakes, a central star picket and some ties and rope or in this case strapping. Making the lean to trellis is simple as you can see you might not be able to see it clearly, but you will now. It's just a matter of supporting the galvanized mesh so that it hangs over the side of the garden bed on a slight angle and held in place strong enough so that it doesn't bow over and is able to support about 10 cucumber vines. I could have used two posts, one on each end going down to the ground here, and that would have been an easy way to support the mesh. But then I thought, I wouldn't be able to mow around it. There'd be obstacles in the way and knowing me, I'd probably walk past it at night and kick my toe. So this one post in the middle and in the birdies garden bed itself with the strapping supporting each corner seemed like a cleaner way to me. I planted about eight or so Lebanese cucumber vines, transplanting them from the last location on the other side of the bed where I stuffed up and changed my mind, positioning the plants at the base of the mesh so they could grow up the trellis as expected. Apart from sometimes pointing the growing vines in the right direction, most of them made their own way up the sloping trellis without much effort from me. At the same time, there was another crop ready to go in this bed, but you just couldn't see it. It was asparagus pea or winged bean, a fantastic crop, very underrated. But this only likes to germinate in summer and a hot summer. I have been growing asparagus pea for the past five years because it's tasty, nutritious, can be eaten raw. The whole plant is edible, although the mature seeds do need to be cooked. And it loves hot, humid conditions, thriving in our sweltering subtropical summer when traditional peas and greens can't grow. The other now it's starting to rain again. It seems like every video I've done in the last six months, it's been raining. But anyway, the other good quality about this asparagus pea is that it readily self sows in your garden and then comes up religiously every summer. So you can easily just leave this thing, drop a couple of brown pods in the garden, and you know that you're gonna get a couple of plants come back up or more. It's not invasive 
but it always seems to come back up. You can either transplant those seedlings or leave it in situ and just let it grow on again. And I knew this asparagus pea would be in this bed due to it growing up corn in a previous season. Anyway, if it didn't come up naturally, the plan was to just sow a few asparagus peas right next to where the cucumber plants were growing. And then once it got too hot for the cucumbers to grow, they would then die back, leaving room for the asparagus pea to take over the trellis. We'll get to the asparagus pea later, but for now, the cucumbers grew amazingly well. They were only halfway up the trellis when I already started harvesting. And over a few months, the vines kept growing and we kept picking and pickling, fermenting and preserving cucumbers until they were practically falling off because we just couldn't keep up. And then to my surprise, a few of the cucumbers that had fallen on the ground and rotted like this one started to germinate and I fully expected the little seedlings to perish in the start of summer because it was getting really hot but they continued to grow and the stronger plants took over and before I knew it there were several cucumber vines growing on the ground out from the raised garden bed and even trying to climb back up the trellis. I think what happened was a combination of a cooler start to summer with a lot of rain and that helped with germination and got the seedlings off to a good start. And the part shaded position from the trellis now being taken over by asparagus pea sheltered the cucumbers from the hot afternoon sun. To my pleasant surprise, the cucumber vines started producing fruit. But even weirder, most of the cucumbers were not the Lebanese variety, but a mixture or crossbreed. I had a few other varieties of cucumbers that weren't producing, but were still growing and battling on through the summer and flowering a little bit. There was a Puna over there, an Indian variety with a brown skin. And then there was a crystal apple just through the back of the veggie garden. And they're round, pretty small with a white skin. The bees must have visited the flowers from those varieties and then dropped in on the Lebanese cucumbers to form these hybrids. Now, sometimes hybrids are worse than the original, but they can also be as good or better pulling the stronger dominant qualities from each type and combining it into a hybrid variety that has better disease resistance, heat tolerance, especially in this case, and great eating. These Frankenstein cukes grew big like Lebanese, but fat, brown, and also white like the Puna and Crystal Apple varieties. And the eating quality was excellent. Not bitter or mushy, but crispy, sweet, with a hint of lemon. So it's been this extra bonus of being able to get these cucumbers at the wrong time of year. Normally we pickle them and we preserve them because you can't grow cucumbers through this three to four month period. However, we've spent the whole summer being able to eat cucumbers in salads, quick pickle them a Chinese way and have as much cucumber in our diet as we liked because they were able to make it when they really shouldn't have. There's probably been a few times in the near two decades that we've been here that I've seen cucumbers sort of survive into summer, but never before have I seen them germinate in summer and then grow into these plants and then produce such wonderful fruit. And this summer has been one of the hottest, most humid and wettest in years. So I guess it has taught me that it can be done with the right variety, natural crop protection and microclimate. In the rest of this bed, we have some turmeric and really healthy looking basil growing, but they will start to slowly die back as winter approaches and this current crop of asparagus pea or winged bean will also do the same. Where'd you go? Oh, it's been a long, hot, miserable summer here. But one of the highlights for me has been this asparagus pea that, and because summer's lingering on and the wet season, you can see how healthy and well it's growing. And it's still 
profusely flowering. So I expect to keep harvesting pods for several weeks yet. If you have never grown asparagus pea before, you must give it a go and try it with cucumbers. Believe me, they are matched together like two peas in a pod. At the end of the day, this lean-to trellis idea in a birdies raised garden bed, links in the description below for where you can get these beds, has worked a treat and gave me several stupendous surprises and taught me even more about our garden and to steal a phrase, how life finds a way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big lean to, thumbs up, share it around, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. I've got to get out of this rain. Bye for now. Cheers.